Okay, so one thing to consider when creating a high jump approach is when do they start the turn? The turn is gonna be dictated uh, completely by the speed they're running, how far they're pushing out, and the distance away, it's gonna be pretty close to their five-step approach. Uh, typically, my rule of thumb is I love to do a five-step turn. I do have athletes, for instance, Colin used a four and four, but he could create a stride pattern big enough to be able to push and generate enough radial acceleration or centrifugal force where he could actually get away with doing four steps and get that nice rotation. If he brought in a five-step turn, we would actually see too much rotation on top and it wouldn't get us where we need to be over the bar. So where we start the turn, I would always start uh, typically with about a five-step turn. Uh, so if they're a nine-step approach on their full, I would go four, four steps where they focus on running straight. The last five, they will start their turn. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Colin here demonstrate starting or initiating the turn. So he's going to go ahead and march in and we're going to keep an eye on his feet, what they do. So if he's marching in, we know his turn starts somewhere up here on the turn, but watch what he does with his feet. Right to the midline and he turns the left foot, he stays in it. And that's kind of what we want to do and understand as we're coming in for the turn. One big mistake we do, Colin, can you demonstrate this incorrectly? We want to take that first step when we start the turn. So he's a four and four. And then we start the turn that's outside the midline. And then look what's going to happen. He has no choice but to run directly to the bar in order to get over the bar, which will change rotation and everything. So it's common mistake in high jump. We step across that midline and get too far out when we initiate that turn. So the J is a pivotal piece of high jump. Without it, you would not be able to clear anything. What it does is it enables you to be able to jump straight up on your takeoff or away from the bar, actually, so that you don't have to throw your force to the bar. So what the J enables us to do is jump straight up and let our force or gravity take us over the bar. So when we get our J um, consistent and learn how to keep our center of gravity inside of the J as we come around the corner, you know, that is really what helps high jumpers execute bigger and higher jumps because they're not having to jump into the bar. They're not having to create that force to go, to move in that direction because the turn does that for us. So the J is an absolutely pivotal piece of the high jump that you will never see a high bar if you don't learn how to run it correctly. When you're going on your approach and you're running your J, your curve, if you take it too sharp and you cut it in, what we call that is running at the bar or running to the bar. That doesn't set your body up in a good enough position to hit that takeoff and stay away from the bar on the way up. So essentially what it does is throws you directly into the bar. You can't, there's no way for you to physically stay away and go up at the same time. So on the opposite side of that, if you step out of your J and you come around too wide, what you'll see with high jumpers doing that is they'll get up and they'll get high and then you'll see them come down on the bar because there's nothing, they're losing that force that's going to ultimately push them in the right direction across the, the top of the bar. So if you step out, then you're going to come down. If you step in and run straight out the bar, you're going to go right into it. So finding that happy medium to where you stay in a nice consistent J pattern to the bar ultimately enables you to jump up and away from the bar and have gravity take you over. My, my cue for initiating the turn, initiating that J, has always been to step my left foot um, slightly over my right. And um, we did talk about that. We talked about the dangers of stepping too far over. Um, but but that, that foot placement, it, um, it naturally orientates your body into um, sort of a twist. And, and, and that twist is, is really what you need to maintain to continue the J around the, or continue your run, your run through the curve.